Black Tastic forever. West Side, Carson City, Paramount, Inglewood, Beverly Hills, Redondo Beach, Compton, California. What you know about Watts? Hello, and welcome to another episode of My Point of View Movie Reviews. Now, today we're going to do a retro go back in time to 1965 when the Watts riot broke out in Los Angeles, California, and it made world news. They even called the National Guard to come in to calm things down. They felt that black people lost their mind. In fact, we didn't. We were conscious. We knew what we were doing. We wanted to be heard. And through our history, we have to do things in our own neighborhoods to get the attention of the world to finally listen to us. Now, the Watch Riot is well documented. Today I'm gonna to talk about an event that happened seven years after the Watch Riot. In 1972, on August the 20th, Stats Records put together a benefit concert to commemorate the events that took place in the watch riot now this was something that was unprecedented never been done before all black staff all african americans coming together the security the stage manager the people putting together all the stage equipment they rented out the los angeles coliseum for one day for this huge concert we're talking gospel r b jazz funk the whole nine, these were real musicians, not studio people. No, these were the real deal. And Isaac Hayes headlined the show. This is such an important document because Richard Pryor was chose to host the commentary of this show. It's one of the most important documents that I've ever seen and read about our history. It's not just black history, it's also American history. In the 70s, we were conscious of who we were and what we wanted and where we wanted to go in life. A lot of that, that has been lost over the years. We got to get it back. But if you get a chance, buy the DVD, buy the Blu-ray of Watch Stacks. It's that important to our history. And when you're watching it, hopefully you get a group of friends, family members, Turn your cell phone off. Don't even look at it. You know, Facebook, Instagram can wait for two hours. Really pay attention to the message in this movie. This documentary is crucial to our being and existence to this very day. There's a disconnect with millennials, with Generation X, with the baby boomers. We got to get that love back together because... The only way we're going to cure any problems we have in our community is through love. Protest helps. Marching helps. But we got to love one another. We even got to love thy enemy to help them love themselves so they know what they're doing is wrong when you wrong other people. Again, this is one of the most important documentaries you will ever witness of our history. It hits home to me. My dad was part of the watch ride in 1965 he told me his stories it took place in my hometown you know la is very dear to my heart a lot of history comes from this place and it shaped me to be the person who i am today you know i bleed la blood for life and this documentary is something that took place in my neighborhood and i'm very proud of all of these people of color coming together and loving each other, performing for each other. We had afros, we had loud colors, we had bell bottoms, you know, 
it was a time where we knew again who we were. So I advise you, go out, purchase this movie, stream it, whatever you want to do to watch Watch Stacks. It's that important. It's just my point of view, but trust me, it needs to be done. Love, peace, and Blacktastic forever.